Welcome back to another episode of Mystery Box Madness. This month we have two mystery boxes. We have a signature mystery box from Chalice and we have the all new 2023 Heavy Metal Halloween box of fun mystery box NYCC thing from Funko. Now I think I wanna do the heavy metal box first. I've been really excited about this and I'm dying to know which ones I actually got. I don't even remember which mascot I ordered. Wow, okay, this is actually a lot bigger than I thought it was gonna be. I didn't realize that, I mean like it makes sense that they have to be this big to fit everything in them, but I didn't realize that it was actually the whole size of that box. So the first thing I wanna point out on this is that you can see all of the team mascot logos right here. Like here is Rusty Steel, you've got Sid down here, Phil D. Graves here, and then Jack Carver here. So they've got all of them on this box. This box looks really, really cool. Now there is no really easy way for me to show you guys first before I take a look at them. So I'm just gonna grab whichever one out of here. We're gonna go ahead and start with Sid Ficious, the mascot. I'm a big fan of this, limited to 6,000 pieces. It doesn't glow in the dark. The only way to get those ones was at the con, but we do have at least this version of Sid. Now, one of the main reasons I grabbed Sid over all of them is because he's got the guitar and I'm a huge fan of guitar. I mean, like I play it, I own four. So like, I'm, you know, I just really like guitars a lot. And to be honest, that's kind of the only real reason I actually picked this one up, but I'm glad that I did. Seeing new stickers with like 6,000, 5,000 piece counts on them. I love to see those stickers. I love that Funko's doing more new things with their products and with their pops and they're trying new things. I'm just hoping that maybe next year, the other pops that are in the heavy metal Halloween box will be just a little better. There's not too many that I personally wanted, but some other people think differently. So I think I'm gonna do this like pop soda, pop soda, pop soda. I've got three of each in here, so we might as well, right? And that being said, the first soda we're gonna grab is the Vampire Proto limited to 2000 pieces. Now I've never opened a soda. I don't want to open the sodas. I'm actually gonna probably end up reselling most of these on Mercari. So if you're not following me over on Mercari, go check me out. It's the same exact tag that it is here on YouTube and TikTok. White Fox, you'll find me. All right, pop number two, here we go. We've got the Freddy Funko as Mysterio, limited to 5,000 pieces. This is an amazing Spider-Man mix-up. I'm a really big fan of this. I'm not like super big on Marvel, but I still think that this is a really cool piece and I just, I love it, it looks nice. But again, guys, this is what I'm talking about it. The limited edition 5,000 piece sticker. I'm a huge fan of these stickers. They always look really cool. And honestly, this is, I think, like my first time ever actually having one of these stickers like with a piece count on it. So that's pretty neat. The next soda we have is Freddy Funko as Spirit, limited to 2,000 pieces. This is another one of those that I'm, I don't think I'm going to open. But if I were to open it, I definitely would open like this one. I don't like the, the Proto Dog. He's all right. The other one, it's all right. This one though, as a ghost, as a little ghosty guy, I think Freddy would be really cute as a little ghost. All right, our last pop for our Heavy Metal Halloween box is the Atomic Freddy with kind of this, uh, like the cell shading on the one side of them. So I don't really know what the deal with Atomic Freddy is. However, I do appreciate a very good piece when I see one and this is one of them. Sidebar real quick, look at his eyes, that's Pac-Man. Can't tell me it's not. Waka, waka, waka. And our final soda, this one actually has the highest piece count, is limited to 5,000 pieces, and it is Freddy Funko as Chucky. Again, not one that I think I'm gonna open. However, I can definitely see the appeal for some people. I know that a lot of the sodas go crazy, especially the Freddy sodas, so there you go. And with this out of the way, Let's open the next box. So some of the top hits in this signatures box are like Obi-Wan Kenobi, Inosuke, Tanjiro, Spider-Gwen. There's like a lot of really, really good hits. So hopefully we're able to get one of those. There's two signed pops in here. So let's hope for the best. We got my hand on the first one. Let's grab it. Three, two, one, boom. Ooh, okay. Super Saiyan Rose, Goku Black. The signed version, this looks actually really sick and I love that they used like the pink, almost the same shade of pink for the signature that they did with the hair. So the voice actor for Goku Rose is the same voice actor for Goku. It's Sean Chamel. Sorry if I butchered that name. He does a lot of Goku voices. He's done, I'm pretty sure Goku just in almost every single thing ever. Um, this piece just looks really cool. And like I said, it's the pink matching the pink. 
it just looks really nice and the fact that this is the entertainment earth glow in the dark version and it has the signature like it just there's the authentication there's the little thing for the top it just looks really really insane and like i'm i'm stoked that we got this and for pop number two guys here we go three two one boom Ooh, this is like an old frieza isn't it or is this a reprint Okay, this is a reprint from 2022. Yeah. Okay, reg regardless though, I mean like, look at this thing. It looks so good. There's the PSA authentication there and there for this one. But like, geez, dude, a double Dragon Ball Z hit. We get a Final Form Frieza and we get a Super Saiyan Rose Goku Black. Like, what is the luck for that? So this one is signed by Derek Prince. I'm not sure how long he's been doing the voice of Frieza, however, he is one of the voices of Frieza and we have the signature now. Another thing on this one is like the color with the pin again. I know you guys can't really tell, but it's like this light off purple kind of just matches the whole Frieza aesthetic. I'm just a really big fan of signed pieces, signed anime pieces specifically, but signed Funko Bops, they're so cool. So you guys gotta let me know which Funko product was your favorite that we opened today. Mine either has to be the signed Goku or the Freddy Funko as the spirit soda. One of the two of these things is definitely my favorite thing that we opened. What is your favorite thing though? I wanna know, leave me a comment down below. So guys, that is gonna do it for this month's Mystery Box Madness. If you enjoyed, let me know by leaving a like, comment, and subscribing. Hit that notification bell so that you get notified every single time that I post a video. I've been Michael, and until next time, stay cool.